everyone. So I'm pretty excited because we are at Target. While we are, oh, my hair, it's very windy. While we are going to work on our booth, I saw that they had a Black Friday, early Black Friday special on SodaStream. So we are coming to get one. Let all this traffic be for the soda stream. And please don't hit me. Look at all these people. It's so crazy. The website said they had it. And this is not the first time I've drove over to Target and they don't have it. This is what I'm looking for. And it said they had it in Icy Mint and they don't. They have the normal ones. So now I've got to stop and order it online after coming in for. No, I found it on a random clearance in cap like why if this is a special all right sis grab that okay. i'm so relieved right now and there are so many people on this target all right so by the time we fast forward guys we're gonna be ready to review this thing so we bought it we got our gift card so i turned around used it to buy some of the syrups so it's like getting the syrups for free. Plus this thing is already on discount. So now let's get All right, to the guys, review. we're finally gonna be reviewing the Soda Stream Fizzy. We will be trying out the strawberry watermelon flavor and then the peach drops. Seeing if, you know, this one actually tastes like a fruity drink um, and seeing if this one is just like a flavored water. So let's, get into it i'm gonna just show you guys the box and you guys already saw the shopping video this is many days later so with this one we get the machine one ball of co2 one larger bottle and two um half half liter bottles there is an exchange program i did look into this a little bit more there's actually you can do it online with soda stream or like bed bath and beyond um best buy some other places you can actually take your cartridge there and exchange from what i can see if you just buy a bottle outright it's around 30 dollars. if you do the exchange program where you take a bottle back and get another bottle it makes them 15 dollars. so i think that price is pretty good and right here it says if you go to sodastream.com, they do have 11,000 locations. Um, I did read a lot of comments because of COVID. A lot of people have been using this machine a lot more and they've been having trouble getting, um, getting them. But every time I've checked the website, they've had plenty. So um, it says we're going to be able to do assembly in one minute. I think challenge accepted on that. And then... Um, Basically, right here it says that this will make up to 60 liters of sparkling water depending on level of carbonation and sparkling water maker. So, let's set this bad boy up. Hey, butters. Butter bread. Yeah. This is our newest rescue. Butters. All right, guys. So, I have unpacked everything and I don't know why I thought there was like a, a power plug, but there's not, unless I'm missing something. No, like how cool is that? That's a big deal to me because you guys have seen my tea wall, my beverage bar, and it is always such a hassle trying to rewire all the wires. Th that's the first thing I like. This thing can be moved around anywhere. Like it would be perfect for parties, you know, get togethers, whatever, but I'm always moving our kitchen around because of space and this thing has no plug. So we do get one canister and real off, this thing is heavy. And then this special edition came with two of the my only bottles. Um, if you guys see darkness on me, it is not bruising, it is black hair dye. And these bottles are actually really nice. Look at that. This part is a little bit, it's thick, but it's a little more flimsy. There are some fill lines. So anyway, it came with two of these. I'll try to insert a picture somewhere. Um, I think these are like $15 a piece. 
if you buy them separately. And so that was included in this special bundle. And then you get your uh, one liter size. No, is this a one liter? I think so. So you get the standard. All right, so here's our get started guide. It's, it says bottle machine CO2. And these are our instructions. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this thing put together. Okay, so we have it all set up. I will say this, while I like that there is no cord, it kind of moves around like this because the CO2 cartridge and it does appear and look quite cheap even though this machine is not it is pretty darn expensive so moving it around kind of i don't know kind of feels cheap but i know it's not i'm just saying that the other thing is the i've watched quite a few youtube videos on this product the instructions themselves don't really go into much a lot of this talks about legal arbitration um and safety but no actual directions um you get this and you get a bubble trouble phone number and website and then this is it i mean this is your instructions per what this says Three pumps are going to be like normal bubbles. Five pumps are going to be a lot more bubbles. So we're going to definitely have to play around with that and see what we can come up with. So let me go ahead and get some water and let's go ahead and try this right. out. And inside there is like these little grippies that as we put the water in, it will grip the water bottle like so in there once you press it back it locks i was scared for a minute so i'm doing this right along with you guys here we've got our co2 bottle so i think first we're going to try the drink mix and see how that goes so on here this says i think we'll carbonate it first because when i watch graveyard girl do it Hers fizzed over, so she kind of learned to let it sit for a few, for a little bit after you fizz it. All right, so. Nothing's happening. Did we do something wrong? What I missed is actually screwing this in, which I think is probably why, um, there we go. I was having issues with my machine sliding all around. So now it's not going to do that. All right. So now we can try that. All right. Here we go. One. Two three so we went ahead and gave it three good pumps and then we're going to open this and then twist it open and i believe this is the measuring cap so inside we have different lines and there so let's read the directions on what this says to do this bottle is filled with excitement that's cute okay 
Now, in case you guys are wondering, this does not have aspartame. It does have sucralose. We cannot have aspartame. Um, I think no one should have it, but it in particularly will put me in the hospital. I actually, um, it caused me to have a vessel in my brain swell one time. So always make sure that my products don't have that in there. Fill bottle to water line fizz water, which we did. Fill cap to your desired uh, flavoring level. Um, 1L is sweet, recommended, and then 0 0.5. Tilt bottle and add drink mix. Close the cap. Shake gently. Which I've seen a lot of people do like a swirling motion. So I don't like things very sweet. So I think I'll just fill this to the first line. So there we have that. We're just going to pull that out to release. Which seems simple enough. Let's bring you guys down here. And I hope this does not explode everywhere because I was watching Bunny do it. And it did not, but it does look nice and fizzy, doesn't it? All right, it says put the cap on. We're going to gently swirl that around. All right, let's have a taste test and see what it tastes like. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, I will put a QR code over here. I found these adorable little gnome mugs at Walmart. And this one says he gnomes when you've been drinking. I would show you guys me drinking this, but I promise you I'm covered in hair dye. I've been doing my hair, my daughter's hair. I still have one more daughter to do. And, you know, that's just the Corona life. All right, so let me try this. I like that. That is actually good. And I actually think, I actually think that I would do, um, so I did the lowest um, flavoring. I think I would bump it up to the middle lawn. Um, it's not too light, but I think it's so good and it doesn't have that weird, y'all ever taste something like some of the diet drinks that have that weird, like aftertaste that like diet aftertaste. This does not have that at all. And I would say I'm pretty picky about that. <sighs> that is good. And I think I would add four pumps of fizzy. So I think we'll do that when we try out these peach drops that's good that is really really good now i will say this in terms of the flavors i've done a lot of research on this it seems like some flavors come and go and then some get restocked like i was trying to find brian cream soda he loves cream soda and i cannot find it anywhere there are some off-brand ones but they don't get as good reviews. But um, what was readily available to find was Dr. Pete, which is like Dr. Pepper. That also comes in diet. Coca-Cola, Cherry Cola, Diet Cola, Root Beer, which I think I'm going to get that for my son. And they even have margarita drink mix that you can have virgin or add your own alcohol in. And they even have like kombuchas and stuff. Um, now, Brian loves kombucha, so I think I might actually try that and see. Um, I've been interested in this product for a very long time. I would not have bought it unless Target did not have this really good deal. We buy, if you guys watch my uh, shop tea with me at, or pumpkin spice at Target, we buy a lot of flavored waters. We buy a lot of, in particular, bubbly. And SodaStream just partnered with bubbly. So come January 21. They are going to release their whole line of bubbly drops. So it's basically like making your own bubbly at home. I will be buying every single flavor. We freaking love bubbly. And it is difficult to haul all those cases in and be able to store them, especially for us. We just don't have a lot of space. So that's another reason why I went ahead and invested because of the bubbly partnership coming up. So we're going to set this one aside. 
let's go ahead and we're gonna get this one ready and carbonate it up. And we're gonna see what these peach drops are like. All right, let's bring you guys back out. So we're gonna put it in, click it back so it'll grab. And I'm gonna do four pumps this time. Oh, you know what? I don't think I was pushing hard enough the first time. Hold on. Oh, no, I was pushing hard enough. Okay, so here's what I thought was going on with the button, okay? And I'm glad I'm doing this review like this so you guys see. So, <clears throat> I thought when you push the button, it like compresses down and then it comes back up and you press it again. No, no, that is not the case. You stay on this button, the CO2 is coming no matter what. So, in my mind, again, I thought it was like one of those, it was doing this. No, it is not. The longer you keep it on there, it's going to have that CO2 coming out. So, let me clean that up real quick. One thing I'm glad is that it is just water. So, we've got that. And let me guys show you the drops we're going to be doing. One thing I'm glad is it is just water. It's so easy to clean up. So, these peach drops I got are zero calorie. It says it's going to make about 16 liters, just depending on how you use it. Um, and this is just natural flavor. It, it even says nothing artificial. And I will read this little bit to you guys. It's probably going to be hard for y'all to see. This is such a cute little glass bottle. Reminds me of like a little vintage Coke bottle. Um, this basically says that add a drop to sparkling water but really it goes more in depth down here it's more than just a splash i mean or a drop add half a tea it's kind of hard to see add half a teaspoon of fruit drops to one liter and then adjust to taste refrigerate after opening consume within six weeks so this does you do need to refrigerate it okay and since we're not using a liter, we're using the smaller bottles. I'm going to half that. So I've got a fourth of a teaspoon here. And that's what we'll use to measure the drops. But I'm really excited. You know, it says it says it's natural. And if y'all been watching, like Brian's been juicing and everything. And we've just been eating so bad. And I like that it has like the expiration on the cap there. So if you have multiple, you'll know when they need to be used by. I like the imagery on the bottle too. Oh, that's kind of thick. She thick. Look at that. Okay. Did bubble up a little bit there. Now I'm curious to see how this is going to taste. I'm gonna lightly swirl like a fun one. I'm gonna use my fancy gnome kitchen towel from Dollar Tree. If you guys again don't follow me on Instagram, get on over there. That's where I try to keep everyone updated too over there. All right. Oh, that fizz is definitely more than last time. So I think understanding the button better is going to help me understand it. Like with anything, there's going to be a learning curve. I just happen to be learning it on YouTube with you guys. Oh, yeah, look. That's like the fizz from like a Coke or a two liter or something like that. Look at that. Yeah, that's definitely more like it. All right, so let me give this a try for you guys. Okay, this is definitely indicative of a flavored water. So like the ones you see at Walmart, it's not quite like the Bubblies. Bubblies to me have a ton of flavor. It's more like when they first came out and they had like hints of flavor. It's not strong at all, but obviously I only put in a quarter teaspoon. I definitely think next time I will go ahead and do the half teaspoon and actually I might just do that now I might just add in a little bit more and 
and see if that helps the flavor there. I love this freaking bottle. So cute. And these will be perfect to send with my girls, like when they go to band practice and stuff like that. I'm going to dump this out. I don't like to be wasteful, but... All right, let's try it. Now, I love that you can definitely hear that hiss as Steve from who reviews MRE, Steve1989 would say. Nice hiss. All right, let's try it now. You know, it didn't, I'll be honest, it didn't add a ton of flavor. I really honestly don't taste much of it in there. Um, I did try a drop off camera on my finger and it wasn't that pleasant. Um, I don't really taste a whole lot. I don't know if that's just going to be the peach one. I will probably, since I've invested in the machine, I honestly will probably buy all the the fruit drops because you know with any product some of them are always better than others i i just love peach flavors it, this is not bad it's just i don't really taste it so i think i'll have to like play around with it um maybe even go to a full teaspoon i'm not sure but there there is a light peach hint but i think that me being a self-proclaimed beverage guru I'm used to teas and flavors that have a big punch, a big flavor profile. This is definitely lighter. It is in no way bad. I think if you're not used to drinking water, um, this would be okay for you as well. Um, and be able to, to play around with it. It's definitely not, it's not bad. I like it. Now, if you'll notice back here, what I thought we would do as well i picked this up at walmart today it's just an ornament um beverage dispenser i think these are 15 dollars, and it was so freaking cute and i like that it's glass okay so i'm going to show you guys how we make a teapot this is actually just the twinings cold infused add-ins okay so it's actually just these that I've let just infuse in some water. So I'm going to show you guys how I make up our teapot. So I actually just put it on like one of the mint stands I have in my kitchen. I get asked a lot about teapots. So this would be a great video to refer like my friends back to. Depending on how strong your tea is or how much tea you want. That's up to you. I generally do, if it's a very, very strong tea, I do about a third tea to two thirds carbonated water and in this case since this is a berry profile tea we're just going to rock with that strawberry um this strawberry kiwi melon flavor now you could just do you could just carbonate up regular carbonated water if you want to just keep the integrity of the tea flavor and just make it bubbly but in this case i want all that flavor so i'm just gonna add that right in And that's pretty much it. That is a tea pop. It's tea mixed with generally just carbonated beverages. Again, normally I am popping open a bubbly can and that's how I'm enjoying that. But now that I have the soda stream, the possibilities are going to be endless and I am freaking excited for it. My daughter drinks G Fuel. If you guys have gamer kids, you probably know what that is. So we're going to be doing some videos later on with G Fuel and the Soda Stream. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, please hit that button. Subscribe. There are more videos to come. And we'll see everyone really soon. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll get, I'll get back to you. I'm going to go enjoy my tea pop, finish wrapping some presents and butters has made his way onto the counter. He's new to our family. He does not know the rules quite yet. Come here, Butters. And if you don't know, we have a kitty loaf, kitty baguette, and now we have butter bread. So this is Butters. All right, you guys. We'll see everyone in the next one. I know that I literally left the room to go to the ladies' room. I come back, my drink is gone. That's what living with teenagers is like. So, we're just going to go ahead and remake this here. 
I just thought I would show you guys that after filming, yeah, I'm still gonna <laughs> continue to make it. I think we'll do one more for good measure. Okay. Oh, yeah, that had a very nice hiss to it. And I'm actually going to make some more of this. It went really well with the tea. As you can see, my teenager, I'm pretty sure it was my son, come along and swiped it just like I was Dora the Explorer. If you guys have kids, then you know who that is. This thing is fun so far, I have to say. And my daughter and I are already planning like so many drink conversa uh, conversations. <sighs> Combinations. Again, you guys, I'm running on very little sleep. But I'm doing this for y'all. I really like these bottles. I like the lid too. Compared to the one that comes with it that's just plain it's got a plastic with little drops i mean it's cute you can buy extra bottles too i don't know if i mentioned that on amazon that are really cute and i actually want to get some of those as well because i mean if you're gonna invest just go all in does this have bubbles yes all right and there it is, my teapot. So now I've got to skedaddle before the kids try to take this one, y'all.